Hi, this is Kobe Duckworth, Senior Product Support Specialist in the Center of Expertise for Cascade Microtech. Today I will review how to prepare the auxiliary chucks of the CM300 Flexible Auto Prover for online probe tip cleaning. I will focus on installing an adhesively attached cleaning pad onto the third aux site reserved for this type of medium. A quick note about mediums. There are many different types of adhesively attached cleaning medium available on the market that are specifically designed for a wide variety of applications. In today's demonstration, I will be installing an International Test Solutions probe polish pad that was specifically made to fit our aux chuck shape and size. However, any adhesively backed medium may be used instead. Just make sure to consult the manufacturer for information on how to install and how to use your preferred medium. Before we start, let's take a quick look at the features designed into the auxiliary chuck used for online cleaning. Here is a picture of the auxiliary chuck reserved for online cleaning located to the front right of the primary wafer chuck. It contains a simple leveling system incorporating three adjustable set screws. Then the base is secured in place with one large center screw located under the surface of the chuck. Vacuum is ported to the aux chuck from the same line that feeds the main chuck vacuum. It is then routed to two switchable sites for temporary mounting of cleaning or continuity plates. The plates are roughly aligned using three raised alignment pins located at each site. Lastly, there is a large 38 mm square surface area reserved for placing an adhesively backed cleaning pad. This will be the process that I will focus on during this demonstration. Before installing a cleaning pad on the surface of the aux chuck, it is critical to ensure the chuck surface is free from any debris. With gloved hands, use a non-particulating alcohol wipe to clean any foreign debris from the surface of the chuck where you will be securing the cleaning pad. Also, visually inspect the surface of the chuck to ensure there are no pits or burrs in the metal surface that may cause probe tip damage if contacted. Allow the alcohol to dry, then get ready to install the cleaning pad. Before installing the pad, perform a dry fit check to make sure the shape and size of the pad matches the available aux chuck real estate. As mentioned before, our cleaning pad is designed by International Test Solutions to precisely fit our chuck area, so there is no cutting involved, which makes installation a little easier. We are finally ready to install the cleaning pad to the aux chuck surface. First, we remove the protective cover from the adhesive side of the cleaning pad. Be careful to avoid transfer or collection of any debris on this surface when removing the cover. Next, we align the edges of the cleaning pad to the right and bottom edges of the aux chuck and then gently place the pad onto the surface of the chuck. Then, starting from the center and working outwardly, uniformly apply gentle pressure to the top of the pad to secure the pad in place. The goal here is to make sure there are no wrinkles and no air bubbles captured in the center of the pad. Then, using a hard surface roller with moderate pressure, work out any air bubbles to finish adhering the pad to the chuck surface. Then lastly, once the pad is fully adhered to the chuck with no air bubbles, remove the protective cover from the top of the cleaning pad. Using a sharp edge, find the corner of the pad and carefully lift the cover off. And with the cover being removed, the installation of the cleaning pad is now complete. When installing an adhesive pad onto the aux chuck surface, it can sometimes be difficult to get the pad edges precisely aligned to the edges of the chuck. If there is a large registration error, you may want to entirely replace the pad and try again. But for small errors, you can simply adjust the position of the fences when setting up pad boundaries later. I will now train the new cleaning pad boundaries as well as the pad's surface height. In Velux with the chuck in the probe position technology zone, select the system setup icon in control center. If not already displayed, select Chuck and then select Aux Sites. For this demo, we will be working with Aux Chuck number 5, which had previously been named Mr. Clean. Select the Setup button for Aux Site number 5 to begin a wizard that will walk the user through all of the necessary steps. At the beginning of the wizard, there are a few options. You can retrain the Aux Site on the current position, update only the contact height, or leave all options unchecked to completely retrain all settings for the pad. I will go with this choice. Select Next and then select the type of pad being installed. In this case, select Pad Cleaner and then select Next. 
Next, choose the shape of the pad and then select Next again. You will then be asked if you want to use the Platten camera for performing alignment. Choosing No will use the Scope camera. I am selecting Yes to use the Platten camera. The wizard then drives the chuck to a default position in X, Y, and Z for the Oxite number 5 position. Okay, after this is done, the software is written to accommodate pads or substrates that may possess alignment features. Our pad does not have alignment features, so we will simply click through Next on the next two steps to ignore these settings. To set the aux limit 1 position, first you will need to adjust focus to obtain a clear image. For safety, I always move the chuck in the downward Z direction first before moving up in Z to obtain good focus. Then move the chuck to the first alignment position using the joystick. Warning: At this point in the wizard, all software fences have been removed and stage movement is unrestricted. First locate the cleaning pad surface. And then find the lower left corner of the pad using the joystick. For a vertically oriented probe array, you want to make sure that the lower tips do not fall off the bottom edge of the cleaning pad surface. When setting up the probe array in a different wizard, I set probe mark position 1 to be at the top of the array and probe mark position 2 to be at the bottom of the array. Since we are setting the lower fence boundary using the aux limit 1 position, select the probe mark 2 button to reference the crosshairs using the bottom of the card. Also make sure to take into account any registration error you may have seen when you installed the cleaning pad. You want to add in a keep out region of 1 to 2 millimeters along each pad edge. Here I select probe mark 2 and then refocus on the pad surface and then move the crosshair into position to set my keep out zone. Once the aux limit 1 position is trained, select the probe mark 1 button, refocus, and then select next to begin training the aux limit 2 position at the upper right corner of the cleaning pad. When setting the position for aux limit 2, I'm going to set the upper and rightmost fences for the cleaning pad, so once again I need to take into account the registration error that I observed when installing the cleaning pad. Make sure you set a keep out zone wide enough so that the probe array will not walk off the pad surface during a cleaning operation. Next we will define the home position for the cleaning pad. This will be the first cleaning position that the probe array uses when the first clean operation is performed. The software is written to define this in the upper right corner of the cleaning pad. The home position must be inside the aux limit boundaries just defined. So I click just to the left and a few hundred microns below the aux limit 2 position. Selecting next will then lock in the cleaning pad home position. Then finally select the run find focus button to lock in the focus height at the home position. The height of the aux chuck will be used in conjunction with the probe tip height and the wafer surface height that were found during the next wafer operation. Once the cleaning pad surface height has been determined, select Next. If the wizard completed successfully, you will see the word Finished in green text indicating that Alignment, Set Software Fence, and Set Reference Point operations have completed successfully. Select Finish to close the wizard. With the Oxite Setup Wizard completed, let's take a look at the other controls for probe tip cleaning that are available to the user. Here we have just finished the setup wizard and are focused on the pad surface. Within Control Center, select System Setup, Chuck, Aux Sites, and then scroll down to find Aux Site 5. Here you can see that Aux Site 5 is enabled and ready to use. The user defined name for this site is Mr. Clean 1, 
and the type of oxide is a pad cleaner. There are also cleaning recipe parameters. You can set the number of times the chuck will be raised into the cleaning medium when an operation is called. You can set the length of time the chuck is raised into contact with the tips per stroke. And then finally you can set the X and Y index value to be the distance traveled in X and Y between each clean pad contact event. And with that, this concludes my demonstration of the basic installation and setup of the CM300 online probe tip cleaning solution using an adhesively backed cleaning pad. For more information on Cascade Microtech products and services, please visit www.cascademicrotech.com.